I'm Simon Kieszczak, and I'm an electrical project engineer here at Hidden Kirk, a division of Ambitech. This video will focus on our latest addition to the Idea Drive product line, the PVL 4850E. This drive is designed to energize brushed and brushless DC motors. Our objectives for this video will be to demonstrate how to connect several different types of motors to the drive, and how to configure the software to run those motors. The following motor configurations are currently supported with the PVL 4850E drive. Brushed motors with an encoder, as well as brushless motors with hall cells, and that'll use six step block commutation, and brushless motors with hall cells and an encoder, which will utilize sinusoidal commutation. I will demonstrate how to hook up and configure the following motors Pitman 14205 series brushed commutated motor along with an encoder, Pitman 4412 series slotless brushless DC motor and that will be configured without an encoder. And the new Pitman EC042B-1. That is also a brushless motor. This one will be configured as a linear actuator along with an encoder. So let's start by taking a look at the specification sheet for the Pitman 14205 series brush motor. We are using a 48 volt version, so our specs will be within this column on the right. In order to configure the software, we will need the motor's operating voltage, voltage constant, resistance, and inductance. Additionally, since it is a brush motor, we will also need an encoder CPR value. This screen depicts how to connect the motor to the drive. For a brush motor, pins 1 and 2 are left unconnected. Pin 3 is for the positive motor connection, and pin 4 is for the negative motor connection. As for the encoder, the pinout is per the following from left to right. Channel A, channel B, index, 5 volt, and ground. For the sake of this video, we have already pre-wired the motor and we'll skip over to the software configuration. This is the startup screen for the IDEA software. From this screen, we'll select the brush motor type. On the motor parameter entry screen, we will enter the motor specs, which we previously pulled from the Pitman catalog. Additionally, our encoder has a cycle per revolution value of 500. Since this is a rotary configuration, we will select units of counts per second. And now we're ready to energize the motor. I will use a go at speed command to move the motor clockwise. Let's go with a speed of 40 revolutions per second and an acceleration value of 15 revolutions per second squared. Once we have the parameters filled, we'll click OK and activate the motor. We will use a stop command and slowly decelerate the motor to a stop. Let's use a deceleration value of 10 revolutions per second squared. We will also set the hold current to a value of zero, and this will allow us to rewire the drive without needing to shut off power. And there you have it. We have hooked up, configured, and energized the motor in a matter of minutes. Now we will demonstrate how to reconfigure the drive to a brushless motor. Let's restart the software. This time, select the brushless motor from the initial startup screen. We have added a motor setup guide to the IDEA software. This guide will make it easier for our users to connect and set up a variety of pitman motors. In the parameter entry screen, selecting help will bring up the guide. Enabling the bookmarks will reveal a list of motors within the guide. Let's select the Pitman 4442S101 motor. This guide contains the following the specifications for the motor, which are required by the software, and instructions to connect the motor hall cells and encoder to the drive, either directly or using the 56-1856 harness. We have motor specs at the top, the motor connector pin designations, and hall cell software settings in the middle, and finally the encoder and hall cell connector pin designations are here at the bottom. As I mentioned, the guide also calls out the 56-1856 harness. This harness allows the user to quickly connect to the PBL4850E drive. It is terminated on the drive and encoder end and has flying leads to the hall cells. This motor setup guide uses the Pitman E30C encoder as an example for wiring. So let's go ahead and enter the motor parameters. 
Since this is a rotary motor, let's select units of revolutions per minute. We'll be using the motor without an encoder to demonstrate the six step black commutation. Therefore, we will need to enter a value of zero for the encoder. Prior to selecting OK, I will need to connect the motor and hull cells to the drive. For our brushless motor, pin one is connected to phase C. Pin two is left unconnected. Pin three is connected to phase A. And pin four will connect to phase B. As for the hull cells, the pin out is spread the following from left to right. Hull cell A, hull cell B, hull cell C, five volt connection, and ground. Now click OK. Since this is a brushless motor, we'll need to properly configure the hull cells. This motor uses 120 degree hull cell spacing, and we will need to adjust this setting in the feedback configuration window. Go to the file menu and select drive settings, and then click feedback configuration. I will adjust the spacing to 120 degrees, leave everything else as is. Then just click OK and we're all set to energize the motor. Again, let's use the go at speed command and rotate the motor clockwise. I will use a speed of 3000 RPM this time. We will leave all other parameters as is, click execute, and there you have it. We have reconfigured the drive to use a brushless motor with only a few changes to the software. We'll end this demonstration by stopping the motor using the e-stop command. For the final demonstration, we'll use the ECO42B-1 brushless motor configured as a linear actuator. This time we'll include the encoder to enable sinusoidal commutation, providing us with smoother motion. So let's restart the software. Select the brushless motor type on the initial screen and go to the help section to determine the motor parameter settings as well as the motor, hull cell, and encoder pinouts. The motor specifications are found on the top, and we'll need this to enter into the motor parameter screen on the GUI. The motor also has 120 degree hull cell spacing, so we will not need to change this setting as we have already done so on the previous motor. The motor pinout is found halfway down the page. And finally, the hull cell and encoder pinouts towards the bottom. I have pre-wired the motor for the sake of this demonstration, and simply just make two connections to the drive. Back on the motor parameter entry screen, I will enter an encoder CPR value of 1000, and this will enable the sinusoidal commutation for the motor. Since this is a motor within a linear configuration, I will use units of inches per second. This will bring up a lead parameter, asking for the linear travel made for a revolution of the motor. This particular lead screw has a lead of 0.25 inches. Now I click OK and we're all set to energize the motor. This time I'll use an extend move with the following parameters. A distance of 4.75 inches and a velocity of 3 inches per second. Click execute. And there you have it. Thank you for joining me today on this quick demo of how to configure a variety of motors to our latest idea drive, the PBL 4850E.